Hello and welcome to the session. This is Professor Farhat in which we would look at option strategies and specifically we're going to look at protective put. Using the diagram, this topic is covered on the CPA exam BEC section as well as the CFA and you would see this topic maybe in an Essentials of Investments or Introduction to Finance course. As always, I would like to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so. YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,000. 800 plus accounting, auditing, tax, finance, as well as Excel tutorial. If you like my lectures, please like them and share them. If they benefit you, it means they might benefit other people. On my website, farhatlectures.com, you will find additional resources to complement and supplement your accounting, this course, as well as other finance and accounting courses. So what is the idea of a put? The idea of the put is the right to sell the stock at a certain price in the future. Protective means you already have the stock. So let's assume we purchased a stock and we bought the stock for the price of the stock equal to $50. Then what we do is we want to protect ourselves. What does that mean? It means, you know, just in case the stock, the stock price drops, I don't want to take a lo lot of losses. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy the option to sell the stock. I'm going to buy a put option and that put option is protective, is to protect my stock. So I'm going to buy an option and the exercise price, it's going to be $45. It means, uh, and this is for the next, just let's say, uh, 45 days just so I the next 45 days anytime I can sell my stock at 45 and that comes with a price so I'm gonna have to pay a premium of two dollars that's basically what it is I pay two dollars now I buy a contract to sell my stock at 45 dollars in the next also 45 days it doesn't matter let's make it 60 days so we don't have 245 in the next 60 in the next two months 60 days so now you, you you need to know what is your max loss, what is your max gain, what is your break even, and how can you compute your profit? Well, here's what we have to do. We're going to use a diagram to illustrate this concept. Now I'm going to try to scale the diagram as much as possible. It's going to be a little bit tough to scale, but we'll try to do it. On the vertical line, you're going to have the profit and loss line. So this is zero. This is the profit and this is the loss. So basically, we're going to have one, two, three, four. Again, it's not going to be scaled perfectly. Negative one, negative two, loss is negative three, and negative four. On, um, on the horizontal axis, we're going to have the stock price. And let's start with my price. My price is 50, and let's assume 50 is right here. This, so this is $50. $50. Now, if I have the stock and it's at $50, what's going to happen is this. My profit and loss, it's going to be a vertical line with a slope of one. It means for, you know, if the stock goes up a dollar, I make a dollar. If the stock goes down a dollar, I lose a dollar. So this is basically the profit and loss for the stock itself. It's at $50. Now, what's going to happen is this. I purchased the option and that option, it's going to guarantee me I can sell it. Let me use a different color. I can sell it at 45. So this is the exercise price. So what happened is this. What happened is this. For $2, here we go. For $2, here's what happens. For $2, so if I pay $2, I can limit my losses. I can limit my losses to how much? To $45. So the maximum I would lose is $45. Okay. Then, then when do I make a profit? Well, think about it. I paid $50 for the stock. Then I paid an additional $2 for the premium. So, so the really my cost basis is someplace here, 52. So I will start to make a profit once I reach 52 and above because $50 is my cost, $2 is my profit. So now the question is, you know, what, what is my profit? What's my loss? Here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. Any price. So if I ask, so if you ask me, what happened if the price at expiration, let's assume that after 60 days, the price is $30. The price is 25. Any price below $45. Here's what's going to happen. Any price 
below i'm gonna put this in uh, let, let me use a different color that i did not use i'm gonna use it in black so any price below 45 do you see this any price below 45 what's my loss any price below 45 my loss is a maximum of seven why seven i'm gonna lose five dollars on the stock because i bought it at 50 that's five dollar on the stock and i'm gonna lose two dollars for the premium so five and five negative seven so this is my max loss so what did this what did this protective put did to me well it basically limited my losses so the maximum i would lose on this stock on this purchase is seven dollars it doesn't matter even if the stock goes down to zero i can force someone to buy it in the next assuming within the expiration date within 60 days to buy it at 45. so that's my max loss well what's my max gain well the max gain is unlimited why is it unlimited because the stock could go up to you know one thousand dollar or eh, theoretically it could it could go forever okay the point is once it crosses 52 everything is you know everything is profit for me then you know everything is profit for me so i have to exceed the price of 52 so so what's the max profit the profit is unlimited now what is the break even point the break even point is 52 this is the break even point so i break even at exactly 52 dollars I have so simply put i break even so so see, simply the break even point is the price that you paid price paid for the stock plus the premium which is in our situation again we said it's 52 dollars you paid 50 dollars for the price two dollar for the premium the the profit is unlimited the profit is unlimited and at uh technically at uh Yes, at 52, you, at, at 52, you basically you break even. At 52, you break even. Now, what could happen is this. If the stock price remained between 52 and 45, if the price stayed between 45 and 52, this is like in between those, in between 45 and 52, really, you, 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 you did not benefit from the put because because you know it did not drop below 45 to benefit from it it did not exceed 52 to benefit so it did, not, it did not drop below 45 to take care to take advantage of the put it did not exceed 52 to take advantage of the stock price so really nothing happened if it goes below 45 you'll you'll be glad that you paid the extra two dollars for the premium therefore your max loss is seven if it exceeded 52 you're gonna say i wished i did not pay the extra two dollars but look you pay the two dollars for your protection and this is basically what is a protective put again you are protecting yourself from the downside of the stock so this is what a protective put so you're not your worst case between 45 and 52 you really it's going to go unexpired in your stock price you did not really make any money on your stock okay so remember this area right here anything above 52 I wish I did not buy the put. Anything below 45, I'm glad I bought the put. In the next session, what we would look at is covered calls. Covered calls. Once again, I'm going to invite you to visit my website, farhatlectures.com, for additional resources for this course as well as your other courses. Please share the channel if you find this recording helpful. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.